So, Halloween, the day after. And many of us are blessed with an abundance we probably don't need. Leftover candy. So, uh, the first time I was introduced to EFT, uh, we tapped on uh, chocolate cravings. And by the after a few minutes, I had as much interest in the foil wrapper as I did the chocolate. I didn't touch chocolate for two years after that. So, uh... I'm not saying you can't eat the candy, but if it's a matter of you feel you don't have any control over that choice, then maybe you want to do some tapping. So, um, maybe choose a piece of candy that you particularly like. Snickers, ooh, it's so satisfying. Uh, rate on a scale of 0 to 10 how much you want that. It's just right now. It could be any particular candy or cookies or whatever might be left over. Rate, your, rate it on a scale of 0 to 10 how much you want it right now. Got it? Okay. Taking full responsibility for your own well-being. Even though I really want this, I choose to love and accept myself. Even though I really want this, I choose to love and honor myself. Even though I really want this, it's going to taste so good. It's a treat for myself. But part of me knows it's a trick. And even though I really want it, I choose to deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. And anyone else who has convinced me that I really want this, I really want this candy. All this craving for candy. There's a part of me that really wants this candy. It's going to taste so good. Yum, yum, yum. And it's going to solve all kinds of problems. And it's going to make me happy. And I've believed this for a long time. Candy is sold as happiness. I've got bite-sized pieces of happiness. Fun-sized pieces of happiness. And I really want it. And part of me really doesn't want to have it. Part of me knows it's a trick. Far more than a treat. There's a price to be paid for every piece of candy. And I might not want to waste candy. But do I really want to hurt myself? I know these things aren't good for me. But my sweet tooth tends to win out. And my sweet tooth wants the candy. Even if it hurts the rest of my body. Part of me might even argue, no, wait, there's nutritional value in here. The almonds and coconut and almond joy. Those are good for me, right? But everything else in there is bad for me. Is it really worth it? 
Is it really worth it? And I can always apologize to my body afterwards. If I've already put candy in my body, I can say to my body, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. And I do choose to love my body. And I choose to treat my body with love. So I'm asking myself, is it an act of love to put this into my body? It might be an act of love to my sweet tooth. But not to the rest of me. And I can get good feelings from candy. But I can get those in healthier ways, too. I just choose to be happy. And bypassing the candy intake. I choose to be happy. choose to feel good without the candy. I choose to treat my body with real love. I choose to treat my body with real care. I deserve that love and care. So I'm letting go of any cravings. Bypassing the candy box. Lead me not into temptation, but deliver me from candy. Clearing any craving, allowing myself to feel good, and allowing myself to make healthy choices. And sometimes I might indulge myself. But I choose to do it by choice. And right now I'm choosing to be healthy. And I deserve to treat myself and my body with love. I deserve that in body, mind, and spirit. Take a deep breath. Say no thanks to the candy. Check yourself on a scale of 0 to 10 again on uh, how much you might be craving that particular piece of candy. If it's not at a 0 yet, you might want to go through this again. Treat yourself well. You deserve it. Thanks.